Life has no shortage of disappointing moments, but there's one thing you can always count on and it'll never let you down. People being stupid. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Izzy and this is the Izzy Nobri Show. If you are on YouTube right now, certainly you are aware of the Shooting Stars meme. In case you don't know, Shooting Star is a 2009 single by a, an Australian band called Bag Raiders. It's a pretty decent tune, but it was mostly forgotten by pretty much anybody outside of Australia. They were never very big outside of their home country. People have since rediscovered this song because of a meme that involves taking a video of somebody just getting wrecked and then cutting out the person in the video and then right as something happens, the beat starts and you know, I don't have to explain it to you and I would love to show you to exemplify what I'm talking about but people are getting hit with copyright strikes here on YouTube for using the song. So let's try to unpack this. We're talking about an Australian band that never really had crossover success who's now, eight years after releasing a song, getting on the billboards uh, the, the, their song is speaking on Spotify and other streaming services. I got their entire discography because of this fucking song And they're hitting the people that are making them popular with copyright strikes. What the fuck? It's funny because on their Twitter the band themselves have admitted that this success is not like they don't know what's going on They know this is because of the internet and look before you play devil's advocate here I am aware that with a lot of these streaming services the band does get a smaller cut of the money being generated, but still that's a lot of exposure, that's a lot of people who are finding out about their music. There are now a lot of people who are more likely to buy the music and go to their concerts that were not going to do so before this meme started. I'm just hoping that the band is not the one involved with these copyright strikes, that this is like some seven year old manager that doesn't understand the fucking internet, or that they're at least gonna try to stop this from happening. People should be using this music to create these memes because that's what, what, what made you big in the first place. This is, ah, fuck. Mm. Shit. This has long been a problem with the internet. There are entities that just flat out don't understand the internet and they are afraid that the internet, that these kids doing memes and shit are going to take away their revenue, which is You'd think that at, my hand really hurts actually. Fuck. <laughs> I hit this thing right here. It has these little like things here. It fucking hurt, dude. But this is a problem. As a content creator, sometimes I do want to use somebody's content either to make some criticism, to make commentary, and uh, it only helps with the exposure. And it just seems so fucking stupid to me that they would try to stop people from using this thing, which is, especially in this case, which has propelled the band to a level of success they have never enjoyed before. So I'm hoping that they are, because they are aware of the whole meme magic that's going on with their song, I'm hoping that they contact whoever's actually behind these copyright strikes. I'm hoping it's not the band itself. I'm hoping that they're cool and they're gonna tell people to stop, their people, the people who handle their shit, to stop striking videos for using Shooting Stars. It's a great song! I, I wanted to use this song on, uh, I recently did a trip to Brazil to speak at an, an event, I, I mentioned this before, and I actually wanted, I usually, when I when I travel, I usually do these like video compilations of, I, I'm gonna put in the description some videos I've done in the past. I wanted to do a similar video with Shooting Stars. I think it's a great song for a travel video, and I can't use it because I can't risk getting a copyright strike over this shit. So, it's, it's really, Sucks. You know what's the, the dumbest thing for me? The dumbest thing for me is when um, companies that make video games give out copyright strikes on people doing gameplay videos, which is, as somebody who has a video game out, which you should actually go buy right now, uh, there's a 50%, is it still a 50% discount on it? Let's see here. Steam. Right now, uh, my game is only six ninety nine. Six six. Seven Canadian dollars, 50% off. Go buy my game, please, and make a video about it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna give you a copyright strike, okay? I don't understand how anybody could issue a copyright strike over somebody using footage of your fucking video game on YouTube. That is just, it, it blows me the fuck away. The only, the only excuse for this is if you know your game is a piece of shit and you're afraid of the bad publicity of more people seeing that your game is a piece of shit. My game is great, so go ahead and make videos. I don't give a fuck. But that's what I wanted to talk about today. This is really pissing me off. I want to know how you feel about this. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, I think that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done. 
full of disappointments, but there's... Oh, shit. Wait a second, my glasses are messed up. Let's, uh... Let's clean this up. It's such a catchy song, but the thing for me is when I find a new favorite song, it's like I do everything in my power to make that no longer my favorite song because I will listen to it on repeat obsessively for like seven days straight and then I just get bored with the song. Do you, do you guys do that too? I have a feeling you do that.